be in that space of Tangaroa. It's just mind blowing. To feel the power and to feel insignificant, I think that kind of gives perspective as human beings on this planet. Surfing's a part of our whakapapa. There's a lot of benefits associated with it, not just physically, but spiritually. When I think about Te Whare Tapawha, about the total well-being of a person, the times that I've visited the beach, that's what I've experienced. Tauromona One of the first times I met my oha was out surfing, and then from then on we took Māori in the lineup. You don't really get that opportunity much to talk to reo out in the surf. I knew, oh, well, this is the fella I should team up with to do mahi. We've developed an organisation called Aotearoa Water Patrol, where we utilise our mātauranga Māori within water safety programmes for Māori as well as our general population in Aotearoa. My first memories is uh, fishing for flounders with my queer. My grandmother introduced me to the sea and uh, introduced me to the coastal lifestyle. As a young youth, we did surf lifesaving, just like uh, you see our ancestors, you know, there were waves and uh, what do you do with waves? You ride them. So that was my introduction to surfing. And when I was a young adult, competed nationally and um, did represent New Zealand overseas. Changed. I had a young family and that took my energy and my focus. So I basically put my surfboard down for 20 years. For me, second time around, it's a lot better. Sharing a great past on a great activity and um, using my brain a bit more as opposed to my brawn. We knew the benefits that surfing brought to us and we wanted to share those experiences with our rangatahi. Help develop their skills and knowledge so that then when they grow up, they're good role models in terms of water safety. And also to give them another opportunity to engage with our atua, such as Tangaroa and Hine Moana, on a different level. Mauri ora, ko lavi tōku ingoa, no ngā toro puke o Mataraiwa me te iringa hau, no tua whenua, uh, ko ngāti tautahi, ngai tawake, ngāti kino, uh, ngai tū me ngāti waiharo oku hapu, ko ngā puhi te iwi. First of all, we need to acknowledge Tangaroa. We need to ask that we are protected so that our journey in the water, wherever we go, whichever way we fall, we're going to get back up and we're going to come out safely. Tēnā koutou nau mai hoki mai ki te taihau auru, anā ko ngaru nui, ko waikere, ko whaanga, ko tirohanga, anō tō tātou maunga kariwe i mihi ana ki a koutou, ki a tātou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou. We like the kind of the wind to blow through their hair and let them hear the roar of the ocean. On a practical level, it's just getting them grounded. Apai o te whare. 
that whakatau wairua, um, ngā pau o te whare, that's there to bring them into that focus so that they're ready to go out and they're ready to practice the techniques and the skills that they've been taught. Boys, can you please identify some of the hazards that we're up against this morning? A uh, rip. Uh, rip. Yep. So where the green water is? Yes, yeah. where the rip is. What are the other hazards? Uh, rocks. Rocks, there's some rocks there, be careful of the rocks. And what else? What's in the water at the moment? People. People, so people also can become a hazard, so just be really careful. Try not to run over anyone and try not to get in anyone's way. What are these? Waves. The waves. Yeah. So all that water's coming in, where's it going to go after it comes in? Back up to the ocean. Back up to the ocean? Yeah. It's going to create that rip. And we've found a rip today, where's that? That's over there. Right here, eh? Next I want us to throw our surfboards in, so we know how to do that. Big ones! <laughs> <laughs> so we're paddling, caught the wave, power paddles. One, two, three, four. So, who up? Who up? Sorry. Ah, Rima, Rima. Oh, he way, he way, tai. Na tamaro na hini moana. Ke tau i ho na manaki tanga. Ya mau kia u, te hini ngaro te ngākau, kia kore ao e raru, e takara nei ki te he, i ngiri kia rewa, kia mānu ki tua, e ke pānuku, e ke tangaro, haumi e, hui e, taiki. Once they're in there, you are applauding each other because yes, you got up, man, that's awesome. It's about having fun, right, with your peers. They're engaging in it and it's together. And so that bond's developing. It's about harnessing all of that and then applying it out there. During one of our wānau, our hamiora got caught in a rip. I paddled out to him, stayed sort of 10 metres away from him and just caught him and asked if he was OK. He knew he was in a rip. He wasn't freaking out. He knew what he had to do and just to stay calm. He just took on board what we had taught him in those wānanga leading up about um, how to handle yourself when you get into those situations. It's Mother Nature. It's pretty big. Yeah, pretty scary. I collected myself and I rode a wave back to shore. If I just put my mind to it, I can do anything. Like getting out of that situation. Our eyes are no longer on ourselves when we're surfing. So you're looking beyond yourself. And I think that's a really important thing for teenagers to, to think about outside of themselves. It's a real privilege actually to, to work with the youth. They're the ones that really teach me about myself and how I, you know, engage with other people and, you know, the magic and the perspective that kids have. Just learned so much. They're constantly blowing me away. Big picture, I'd love all Mokopuna Māori to be able to experience surfing without having to think about costs, without having to think about barriers. They just need the opportunity. And then they need the push to get them out there. <laughs> Water safety is a serious issue, but when you have the right equipment and um, the right skills, then it is a lot of fun. Good for the mind, good for the soul. I just want Erangatahi to get that enjoyment. <laughs>